Okay, baby, it's Saturday. It's Saturday. I'm out there doing my chores and shit, and I got this thing floating in my head about the about the the, 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 the crisis on the border, as they call it nowadays. Yeah, I live right down here. I don't see nothing. Anyway, uh, you know, there's a deal being worked on in the Senate, and it's been playing on my head all day long. I said, said something about it yesterday. The Senate has come up with a deal, and last night Joe Biden mentioned that uh, it is the toughest and fairest uh, set of legislation on the border that this country has ever had. Joe Biden is conceding a whole lot right now on the border, maybe a little more than he should, but he's trying to get a deal made through. And that deal is going to be presented to the House, and we already know what the answer is. Mike Johnson already came out and said, it's DOA, baby, dead on arrival. We're not going to do anything. They are not into, they are not into solving any problems, baby. They are, they're, 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 not, they're not out to, to, to solve the issue on the border. They want that issue. Donnie's already told them, don't make a deal, and they're going to do exactly what their king tells them to do, baby. And Mike Johnson's proven that right now. It's a bunch of bullshit. You know, this battle going on between the Republicans and Democrats right now, this doesn't have to be the way it is. It is, it is designed this way. It is the way Trump has designed his whole campaign, a campaign of division, baby. They're not out there to solve problems. They have all sorts of uh, social issues out there that they want to demand. They want to impeach Joe Biden or Hunter Biden or somebody. We'll scream about something. Have they gotten any legislation done? Hell no. They're too damn busy screaming. And creating more problems than they solve, baby. And this border issue just speaks so highly to the fact that the Republicans have no interest, baby, in bringing this country together. They want one thing, division, baby. They want division and hatred. They want you to hate your neighbors. They want you to hate somebody who doesn't look like you, doesn't preach like you, doesn't sound like you. Whatever it is, they want to, they want to pry that apart, baby. They want to undo the planks of this democracy one by one, separate them. We can't let that happen, baby. There aren't any recruitment posters for this battle, baby. There's no ha Uncle Sam on the wall uh, saying, we need you. But guess what, baby? Your country does need you because we do. We need to raise an army of patriots that are going to show up at the polls, baby, that are going to do everything they can to make sure they vote this November. And believe me, there's a lot of places in this country, they're trying to make that a little bit more difficult. And it should tell you who we're dealing with. Every day the news should tell you who we're dealing with. They are not interested so much in a democracy anymore, baby. They want to move on to something else, and they have a glorious leader in mind that wants to lead them, and they want to, they want to dissolve everything in our country uh, and, and let one grand leader uh, make all the decisions about everything. And uh, we're not set up that way. Anyway, like I said, there's no posters for this battle, baby, but we need you. So be prepared. Be informed. You can see what the Republicans are doing every day. Don't let them tear this country into shreds. At some point, we need to come back together. And the only way that's going to happen is if the, the ultra-right, the MAGA, maggot Republicans, uh, come to their senses and, 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 and realize that th this country isn't set up for kings and Putin types, baby. We're set up for a president. And right now, we have one that's doing a damn good job and making us progress, baby. And I'm proud of Joe Biden. And I want you to be too. I'm proud enough to march your ass right into that booth and vote for him to keep him another four years because the alternative, well, the alternative is something else. And we don't know what that is yet, do we? Anyway, y'all take care of yourself. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. And we'll see you later. Bye.